What do we got here today? What we have is a little pocket 4.3 inch color television, digital TV. It's a nice little set. It's an RCA and it's a DHT 235A. Now, the interesting thing about this is we're out in the car and I have it hooked up to an antenna right here. And I have the uh, car acting as a ground plane. I'm doing uh, the uh, tests to see what I can get on actual over the air reception. And I found that I can get, now this is a, uh, what do you, what do I just call this? This is Cubo, Cubo TV, I think it's called. And, uh, it's, uh, there's a lot of breakup with it. When on some of the stations, a lot of breakup. Uh, this is Ion TV. Now, I'm only about eight air miles from the uh, transmitter tower for Ion. And uh, I don't know why. I can't figure that out because uh, Ion, I didn't think, was one of the uh, more wealthy uh, places or uh, TV networks, but apparently they are. Uh, this is WVIT, which is NBC. And uh, this one can get choppy. I'm right on the fringe area. But this proves that with a rooftop antenna, I'm going to be able to get uh, get all the stations I need to get and get away from cable. Um, this is Cozy TV. I don't even know what Cozy TV is, but right now it's not coming in. Um, this is Public TV. And there's several different ones that are coming from this same parent station. The different uh, variations of uh, uh, that are all available from the public TV transmitter, but uh, I get 16 channels without an external antenna. Now the antenna that's on the uh, uh, that comes with the uh, little pocket TV you see right here is not good enough for any reception. Uh, it's a very small antenna right here that pokes out the side. And it's uh, too small to pull in any station. I can get one ion station in the house with just that little antenna. But this has proven that with a rooftop antenna, I'm going to be able to get uh, a lot of stations and not have to pay cable anymore. Because that's my goal, is to get away from the, uh, the expense of cable TV. And I never knew you'd even be able to do this, because as I say, I'm in a fringe area. But this little TV, definitely well recommended. The thing that you're going to have a problem with, right here on the side, let me turn this off for a minute. If you notice on the side, I had to make a connector for this. This has got a very unusual, it's called a, a uh, is it a, I want to say a BMX connector. It's, that's not the word for it. Ah, I'd have to, I'll have to look it up and print it in the, the thing later. But it's a very small connector, an RF connector. And I was able to take apart a, uh, an old uh, junked XM radio satellite uh, a dock station and get the little fitting that I needed and then make an, an RF connector for it to connect to the uh, little stick antenna that's up on the roof of the car. But anyway, that's uh, it's uh, the sound, by the way, on this in the headphones is true DTS stereo, and it's awesome. Absolutely great sound. This was only 20 bucks. Uh, now, you can buy these brand new for around uh, 50 to $75. Uh, I chose to buy one that was a customer return because a lot of these were customer returns because they don't understand that with digital TV, you can't carry them around. They have to be stationary. But for a nice little pocket TV, they're dandy. There's no uh, AV input jack. It would it'd be nice if there was, but you can't you can't complain for the uh, for the amount of money paid and for the fact that it is a digital TV and it's got an extremely good picture. Uh, probably one of the best for a pocket TV. One of the best pictures I've seen yet. And again, that's the RCA DHT 235A. It's according to RCA's website. Of course, it's discontinued, like RCA does with everything they make. Discontinue it when they come up with a good product. I think they're tied in with Radio Shack somehow because they do the same thing. But anyway, pick one up if you get one cheap. If you're in a city area, that'd be great. As a matter of fact, in a city location, I know with the Ion, if I get closer to the transmitter, like take the car down there, I can carry the TV around and still maintain the signal. The buffering is strong enough where it keeps the signal without, uh, so you can carry it around. But anyway, that's it.